excited to have uh, Randy Noon from Buyer Protection Group Home Inspections with us today. So if you have home inspection questions uh, or anything related to home inspections, he is here to answer your questions live for us today. Got some stuff I'm going to talk to Randy about today, like I mentioned on our Facebook page about you know, ways to help pick the right home inspector, what to expect during the home inspection. Um, a lot of our market right now are first-time home buyers, so that some of this is new to them. And uh, getting getting used to the process and understanding how it works for, for someone, you know, like people on our team that have sold hundreds of homes, it's kind of a process. But for someone who's never done it before, it can be a little bit intimidating. Um, so, Randy, um, what, what are some of the uh, formal training that you guys at BPG go through uh, to, you know, to become a home inspector? Well, good morning, Andrew, and happy Mother's Day to all those mothers listening and to my mother-in-law, Loretta Gardena, and my lovely wife, Kimberly, who's joining us here in the studio this she, morning. She's going to ask us some questions in a little bit related to how does a wife deal with a husband that's a home inspector. Yeah, that's, that's a tough one, yeah, working all day and typing all night. That's, that's, that becomes interesting. Uh, so as far as the uh, training for home inspectors, you know, even for state licensing now, uh, you have to have formal training education um, that's uh, gone through, uh, and you have to take a test, and then to become an ASHI member, okay. you have to have had uh, classes, formal training classes, and then even as a local company, we have our inspectors get together and we hold continuing education, you know, and we are always working on bringing up topics and educating ourselves and becoming more educated about all the different topics of home inspecting all the time. And, and how many, just out of curiosity, how many home inspections do you think you've performed in your in your career? Thousands? Approximately thousand, 7,000 on 7,000, yeah. that's pretty awesome. So um, as far as liability insurance, that's another thing. We, we see a lot of times uh, someone would select a home inspection company that's, uh, you know, oh, it's, you know, Joe Bob that does home inspections out of his truck and, and you know, no real business car, no lot, you know, there's a lot of concern about that because obviously if something goes wrong, what are some of the liability protections that you guys offer at your company so clients can be assured that, that there's insurance and liability protection? Right, of course, we have to have liability protection because uh, we're in and around the house, you know, walking up through the attics, so there's always a possibility for things to get damaged. And so we carry a million dollars of liability insurance just in case something like that were to happen. And then we also carry $2 million of errors and emissions insurance. And errors and emissions insurance is an insurance that covers everybody in the transaction. It says that if we miss something of a very large scale that we should have caught um, and that uh, there would be an issue with that, that that insurance would cover and protect all parties involved uh, and make it better. Great. So so uh, if you're listening and you have questions about home inspections or, or any questions generally about real estate uh, in the Tampa Bay area, we'd love the opportunity to help you. Uh, Randy is our uh, preferred home inspector. We've got a whole list of preferred companies on our website that you've heard us talk about. And um, but, but nonetheless, one of the things that we also liked about you guys is you guys have a 90-day inspection guarantee. So, so in other words, you're, you're guaranteeing for a period of time that your inspection is, is quality. That's right. Uh, within 90 days after the transaction, or then if we said something was functional at the time of inspection, or something goes wrong with that item, we will make sure that it gets corrected. Um, there's some limitations as far as ages, right. and appliances, and equipment. Yeah. But uh, in general, there's a, just read the terms and conditions. That's there's right. always, they're always, always there. Yep. Just, just like a real estate contract, you say, I'm buying the house for $200,000 and I'm financing it. But then there's 10 pages detailing about the different you know, asset aspects of it. What, what about, um, you know, you guys' extended advice. So after the inspection, you're offering the opportunity to people to, to call and ask you questions and, you know, questions about certain things in the inspection report or certain things they may be repairing after the fact. Uh, that's another thing that you guys, you know, do as well, correct? Right. That is a special program that's put on by Sears. And, in fact, if you've watched uh, Extreme Makeover Home Edition, uh, Ty Pennington has given away this program to a lot of the homeowners at the very end of the show. And it's the same program we offer. Uh, it's an email type program that stays in touch with the homeowner, gives them maintenance tips on how to maintain their home, when to change their air filters, how to change their smoke alarm batteries, how to drain the sediments out of their water heater. Uh, it's very informative. Uh, all the clients get it as part of the transaction and of course the real estate agents involved in the transaction can sign up for it too. And then they can ask questions through that service uh, if anything ever comes up on their house. And of course we always tell people that they can call us after the fact and, right. and stay in touch and ask questions forever 
and you guys have a really nice high quality report which i which i like you know lots of pictures a key findings report you've got a comprehensive property information pictures about the items that go wrong because it's one thing to read an inspection report that's typed up with a couple of pages of text and it says you know such and such and such and such is broken and it's like i got no idea what you're talking about like i got i don't know what this thing is that you're talking but you guys do pictures so it's like if you find a valve on the water heater or whatever it is that's broken you take a picture of it so the consumer can actually know what it is you're talking about yeah we we love our reporting system uh, it's very detailed with uh, intimate description on what the problem is, where it is, and what does it mean. That's the main thing uh, to inform the, the client in the transaction on, on how it affects them and their purchase. And, and you turn them around pretty quickly too. I mean, you know, you guys, when you guys do an inspection for us, I think we're probably talking a day usually and we've got the report back, a right. full detailed report. We try and have them out within 24 hours. That's right. And, and what I also love about our inspection reports is that as we drop in a comment about the finding, then there's that photograph that follows it. We can put arrows and circles and, and even captions underneath the photograph to really say, and, and it's rare that we get a call back after the transaction to say, I, I don't understand what you were talking about on this. And by the time you read the description and then look at the picture, you say, okay, well, we also I know what you're saying. We encourage the buyer to attend too, because then it's easier for you to point it out to them, because there's nothing worse than a buyer completely misunderstanding what it is you're talking about in an inspection and thinking it's a much bigger thing when it's like, uh, yeah, all your, all your contractor is going to have to do is tighten that screw. Right. Yeah, I mean, so we, you know, it's a lot easier to show that. Right, yeah. to, to point out everything we see that needs to be attended to in the house. We want them to understand that. But by the same token, yes, it's all about perspective for us and making the client understand, again, what does it mean? You know, is it a big deal or is it a little deal? And sometimes in words and the descriptions in the report, it's hard to get that perspective across to them. But, yeah, when they're there, we can say, hey, look, you know, that's really not a big deal. We want you to know right. about that. Uh, but now your roof leak, on the other hand, now that's, that's a, big a big deal. deal. That's right. right. So It's important to be able to point that out. Absolutely. So, again, you're listening to the Duncan Duo Real Estate Show. If you've got questions, you can call us with home inspection questions, buying real estate, selling real estate, short sales, mortgages, foreclosures, 990-9352 in Hillsboro, 461-9352 in Pinellas. And we'll continue our chat with uh, Randy Noon from Buyer Protection Group Home Inspections, which is uh, bpgwi.com.